Hello everybody, this is ZigZagZog coming to you from somewhere in this world. We're back to continue our playthrough of Phoenix Point, the year one edition featuring the Festering Skies DLC. And it looks like our next mission, because we need them badly, is going to be this scavenging mission here. Uh, we'll just do a quick spin around the globe to see where everybody's at. We got the gift uh, and I believe the other manticore over here uh, doing a little exploring. Uh, we have the bucket of continuing to do some exploring hoping to find something off in this direction between uh, the Alaskan base over here and the rest of the Americas to, to make make it possible for us to come from any direction when we need to get to the Americas we got the newly named antivirus going over to help him I, I kind of don't appreciate having one lone vessel on one side of the globe, especially when, since we don't know where the behemoth is going to be going. Uh, so we're heading the, the speedy antivirus over there, our newly named vessel. And we got the Overwatch 2 here. And finally, we're back to what we're going to do at hand here. Um, about the only other thing I did is I did name... Uh, a uh, new rookie, number 13, now has a name. Uh, we'll be able to get to see her uh, soon enough, but I'm not going to interrupt to go there now. We're going to do the scavenging mission right here in front of us. There's so many things we need to buy. So, uh, an, uh, more archaeology labs. We have more armor that we need. We have you, some new legs that he would like to get. Um, you name it, there's probably even more that I can't think of off the top of my head, but we need these supplies. So let's get down here and uh, get this thing going. It's a high threat level nighttime, so our perception may not be as good as normal. And uh, we got to take anything that's dropped on this one. But fortunately, we have a vehicle with which to store stuff. That's the best part. And we are taking the armadillo out on this one. Um... We kind of look, everybody's kind of fives and fours, so everybody's fairly even, fairly equal on this kind of a mission. Now, you have a jetpack. I don't mind having a jetpacker along. Uh, Nikolai, you tend to have decent speed. I'm bringing you, so that means i got to back out some others. I do like having some of my snipers along. But I, I, I don't mind. Well, Tony Shalhoub, you're a cross between a, an assault and a sniper. So you, you kind of fit both roles there. Uh, so Sigourney and Sam Rockwell, you may be the ones that I leave off. Because that gives us a couple speedier guys. And then it also gives me some good old-fashioned sniper abilities beyond that. The only other question is... Yeah, that, that's about it. So we're going to keep uh, Sigourney off of this one. And Sam Rockwell off of this one. And the rest are going out. So let's uh, make sure they're equipped. Let's hopefully not not deploy too soon on this one like I have done before. Let's make sure we, we have what we need. And, and part of what we need to do is strip down a little bit so they have more room to carry what we need. And we're going to go a little light on ammo, I guess you could say, by not having backup ammo. But... Along with the vehicle to protect us, if we, we, we run out of ammo, I think we'll be okay. Tony Shalhoub. Hmm. What do I need more? I probably... The least useful on this one for you is going to be a pistol, because I would rather keep a med kit handy just in case. Now, usually we do find some med kits. Oh, and here we have another problem. We don't have a lot of ammo for your independent rifle. It only has two bursts, two shots left. That's not enough. We're going to have to lose those two shots by uh, unequipping you and giving you the Phoenix base. Now, we, what we might do... Oh, Sigourney, you're not even going out on this one. Uh, but we were going to need to re-equip re you anyway. So let's keep motoring. Will Smith... We're going to keep you like this. Sam Rockwell, you're not going. There's the armadillo. Uh, we've got decent... What kind of ammo? So we, we still have three shots on your big heavy weapon. I don't... Hmm. Well, you, you also have the backup with grenades. So I think that'll end up, at least for this mission, being enough shots. We're going we're gonna to take that chance for you, Robbie Zasso. And Nikolai, let's get rid of your excess here. 
Um, we don't have enough quite ammo on that. So what I'm thinking is uh, we're gonna we're gonna make sure we have enough ammo and do it this way. Although we're gonna make sure because acid uh, firing. We're starting to see some armored dudes. Let let's make sure we don't have a problem with ammo and take the living weapon. There we go. So we are all set. Citizen Eileen's not going on this one. We are all lean and mean, I guess is what you can say. We can only recover that which we carry. So I'll uh, see you down on the battlefield. All right, let's go see where we are in relation to crates. We got one crate very convenient, very nearby. We got a will spot right here also. Just trying to hide on us. We got, ooh. Awkward crate off in the corner. Oh, we, we got them spread out in the back. That's that's not exactly convenient, although we are near an exit zone over here. Uh, so in a way, you could say that's not so bad. So if we came up this way and cut over, we're near the exit zone for one group. What have we got? We, here's the inconvenient ones. Way over here. Uh, a jet jumper can get up top. And we got 12 resource packs with one, two three four five six what appears to be seven crates and i've been known to miss them before but i think we we did a pretty good job of finding them right off the bat here um so seven crates a lot of them are going to have two packs yeah we're we're, we're going to need our vehicle to load up uh with this that's for sure um, who do we want to get on the vehicle Save first? The Robbie, how far can you jet jump for starters, just to give us an idea? And I hate this big rocky formation right in the middle of it all. I really don't like it. Uh, I think what we're going to do is uh, let's jet jump someone out here just to see down all the different directions. Well, you'll see mostly over in this direction. We're going to jet jump you right here, Robbie Zasso, and see what we can see. And we got ourselves some enemies. Uh, we got a Chiron over here. Let's see what he's uh, fixing to shoot at us. Looks like poison worms. The, the least dangerous, at least in my book, of all the worms. So that's that's one small favor for us. I'm kind of thinking about sending a Nikolai and your speedy legs over here. Now what have we got as far as the Arthrons? We got no shooty weapons and Hard to tell exactly how speedy. Oh, movement 16, so nothing speedy about those legs. And this one seems to have, no, just a spitterhead. So mostly up close kind of guys, so not an immediate threat for us. Uh, so you're, you're okay, I think. Well, it's gonna be cutting it close. Gonna be cutting it close having you hang out right there. But since they aren't real great, well, see, spitterheads could could ruin that. Uh, so let's see what we can do. We, we might be able to get some extra shots out here. We're going to leave the poison to have at it. And that means it does. I think we have enough opportunity to get you over here, Nikolai, uh, to, to pick up this crate. And no, no new surprises in the building nearby. That's good. And it is two loads right off the bat any of these we got virus rifle synedrian laser pistols synedrian crossbow quiver so if i had to prioritize what i can use the most that's what we got so you're fully loaded you're ready to move I think we're gonna move you towards the armadillo. So maybe we, we aren't even gonna move the armadillo this first move. And we're just going to uh, bring you over here, Nikolai, so you can jump on board and loosen, lighten your load. 
So let's get over here and see what kind of shots we can get for you, Will Smith. Shield bearing champion. He's got a lot of stuff working for him. He's also got a pincer. Yeah, and the other guy's probably not so much of a target. So this would be our target. I think what I'm going to do uh, for this guy is just focus on his, his pincer. We'll save our will for when we need it. And just do this. And I hope we got a hit. We, we damaged the pincer. So uh, one more shot. If we can be effective against the pincer, may just be enough. We're going to try you with that, Alan Rickman. Except we'll come up a little closer. Ooh, will that give you quite enough shot? We're going to send here so that building maybe doesn't cut us off. It's a longer shot with, with your weapon. Maybe it may, may not be the best choice, but we're going to try it out. No, no, no. Oh, so we, we the building still cuts off the other guy. Even with this angle. So what we're going to have to do is slide you out. Use a little quick aim and uh, deal with things that way. So, Alan Rickman, move forward. Here comes the Phoenix. Quick aim. And fire. Ready to engage. Let's see if we can't take out that pincer. It's no guarantee. Did we, did we, did we? We destroyed the pincer. That may be it for that guy. We just leave him be, leave him bleed, leave him to run away uh, now it leaves the brute which is much harder for us to get an angle on to be able to hit uh, we will try with you Tony Shalhoub I guess what we'll try I guess we'll try a quick game even though we, we we've learned that it's not necessarily the best angle for a shot so uh, you know what we're gonna do we're gonna overwatch against moving this guy moving up that seems to be the wiser shot since the quick aim that we tried before so let's just kind of go it go it this way we'll see that should hopefully protect our heavy over there from any any onslaught onrush that might take place let's hope uh, Robbie we can keep you right there in fact I'm not worried about the only thing we got to worry about for you is the spitterhead so let's move you farther away from it the armadillo we're gonna wait to uh, pick up some loot and then we'll get moving and all we'll have to fight through is some poison worms which hopefully will be up to that task uh-oh hopefully he can't shoot and apparently we're not going against the poison worms, but uh, he does see us now. And we are spotted. And he did run into us in our overwatch. We disabled his arm, couldn't spit at us, and he is running away. All right. Now we got some things uh, very nearby. How convenient for some of us to be so nearby. Hmm. Robbie Zasso. It would be nice if you got Boom Blast. And I, I, I guess you got some shred here with your weapon. Except I don't think you, we need to worry about that guy with you. Well, let's try putting on some shred here, maybe. The abdomen has a lot of armor. A little less armor the lower we go. So we'll we still may hit the abdomen, but we're gonna we're gonna aim just a little bit lower, hoping to hit some of the softer, less armored sections. So let's uh, start it out here and get rid of some of that armor. And Robbie Zasso. Yeah, I don't know if we can... I think uh, he can still shoot worms even if we were to war cry. But we'll war cry anyway just in case 
it manages to help us out a little bit. We're, we're keeping ourselves in the open against this guy. So actually, before I do it, in case I need to move for cover, we have a Triton foot pad. Not the most dangerous weapon, uh, especially for a heavy. So I think what we'll do is we will do the war cry with you, Rabbi Zaso. And uh, see if we can't take care of some of the rest of these guys. That'll be our... Real threats here. Uh, Alan Rickman, what is your shot right now? Over here. Well, the the little the little guy is behind a little bit of a wall, which is a, a slight problem unless he stands up a little taller, which makes it a little more likely. So I think if we get him to stand up, I'd rather take two shots at this distance uh, as opposed to moving forward. For one shot uh, we're gonna take this chance so let's uh, use some of that will and uh, aim where we need to aim and uh, let's wait for him to stand up a little bit there that is decent ish still not anything close to a guarantee though Apparently, ooh, how, out of all that, we hit the gun, but we got, the, the best part about that is we got rid of the cover. Um, so, I'll, you know, I'll take it. Now we can use our other quick aim to have a better chance at hitting. That's a much better chance of hitting. Can we, though? No, we go over the shoulder. One of our best trick shots that we... Uh, We have regular results with that one. I think what I'm gonna do on the way to the vehicle is uh, run through the will with you, Nikolai. Bros. Then I'm also thinking uh, we could maybe dash over here and have you before you jump on the vehicle so that our snipers are still available, available for other duty. Uh, see if you can take out this guy so we don't have to worry about the spitterhead. And uh, we'll check out and see what both weapons look like. This one looks pretty solid. And this one looks pretty solid. And it looks like we don't have to worry about replenishing the ammo. So there's my weapon of choice right here. So now... We got to try to not do any more over the shoulder shots and just so uh, we can hopefully have a good chance. Will Smith, you have the more accurate weapon. Let's quick aim. And there's our target. This time we got a hit. Let's quick aim again and do that same exact thing. Preparing to fire. And that threat is eliminated. Uh, the other thing we could see about doing is uh, therefore moving up against this guy with our vehicle. It won't hurt us to move the vehicle a little farther forward and still be able to shoot. So that's what we'll do. Let's see what that shot looks like. Oh, we, we actually, it only takes two to shoot. So we could actually get a little bit closer and still be close enough for those of us that want to number four. Now that is going to be what I call an accurate shot with a big old heavy weapon. And it definitely can take out the torso. We definitely can take out the abdomen. And the armor on the abdomen. So maybe that's the way to do it because that's a hell of a lot easier to hit than some of these other individual parts. So let's focus on the abdomen and work on the armor there. And uh, it's looking uh, like we took out a lot of armor. Let's just confirm that. Yeah, no more armor on the abdomen. I like that idea. That means uh, we can get maximum results. And this guy is running away. We're not gonna waste ammo there. Um, I'm not... I feel like uh, just to shoot against this guy, I don't 
want to waste quick game, but what I could do, we might be close enough to this. Dogging ice. <clears throat> Apparently, we don't have to worry about worms anymore. <laughs> he's bleeding, but I don't think he's going to bleed out in one turn. He's got too many hit points. Let's go see what other enemies make an appearance. <clears throat> He is now gone. He's going to be running away, and I don't think we need to waste any more ammo on him, to be quite honest. You're overburdened, so no, you can't quite make it to the armadillo. So let's bring the armadillo to you. There's nothing else that we're aware of that we need to deal with yet, so let's, uh, let's do it. Turn around over here, and Nikolai, get aboard and unload. I'll be right there. Okay, on board the vehicle. Where are you on board? Let's get you unloaded. Lots of materials. We need materials. Of course, we could use some tech, so we'd like to see some blue here coming up. And now let's get you back unloaded, Nikolai. Get you motoring again. Uh, we can pick up what we left there and, and get this in-between crate next as your, your next job. I think it is best served. Let's see how far our jet jump gets us. It does get us up to the roof. Oh, and we got some mist over here that I don't remember seeing, so that means we, we have something over here. So let's let's jump you up here. Whoops. Here it goes. And do we see anything over here? Ah, oh, one of our favorites, a mist sentinel. We, you know, and it's a scavenging mission. We know they exist. We know uh, they're out here. So maybe what we got to do is get uh, motoring. Yeah, we'll take the chance of no cover here for you, Alan Rickman. On the double. Just so we can get some shots next time, hopefully. And get rid of the mist, because, you, you know, I'm not a fan of the mist. We won't be able to pick it up. Two more things of materials. And uh, we are going to run as far as we can with yet one more sniper. Stay there, Robbie, to pick it up next time. Uh, Armadillo, we're going to get you moving forward. So we're in jet jump range if we need to unload over here. And we'll play it this way. A lot of mist over here. A lot, a lot of mist. I want to get rid of this guy next time. We heard a shield go down. We don't know where. At least I don't think we know where. Yeah, I heard I heard a shield drop, but we do not know where. So let's uh, pick up what we need to pick up here from you, Robbie. Well, yeah, med kit we can always use, a hand cannon, PDW mag, we don't have those yet, a poison grenade, Sanidrian laser pistol, neural pistol, laser pistol, those are the three higher priorities. We don't even have, well, I think we may have a handgun, I'm not sure. Let's see if we can jump you down here. Not quite. Uh, let's move our vehicle uh, a couple paces forward, and if we're lucky, we can land in the in the load zone right there, and, and get on board in one move. So let's move an inch forward a tiny bit. Let's see if the jet jump 
will reach it. Ready to roll. As I hope. Here's a little trick. I know. Yeah, I think there's no movement to unload uh, at this point. We can check. Maybe it doesn't cost to unload. Nope, not enough action. Okay, well, it was worth a check, worth a try. What's that now let's see what we got. Let's just see what this shot looks Ready like. It's not exactly uh, a pretty shot, but if we have the will, which we do, I'm gonna take two of these shots. Preparing to fire. We're gonna try one more of these little bad babies. Have to focus. Let's end it. No more mist. Mist free zone. And we are not seeing any other mist popping up here, so I would I venture to say there's no more mist sentinels to worry about on this one. We got lucky with only one. Sometimes you can get two. Someone told me they once got three. I've never seen it myself. I think what we'll do in the meantime is uh, maybe position ourselves a little bit for uh, potential enemies. Uh, I don't know that I have cover per se. Meaningful cover per se. So what we're going to do is bring you over here, Will Smith. Already there. We'll kind of overwatch down this way. In case anything comes out of the mist, maybe. And then I was thinking of popping you right here, no. Tony Shalhoub, doing the same thing since this is uh, kind of a positioning turn in case somebody comes down this alleyway. And Nikolai, thinking I want to move you forward, going for this thing, uh, but not into the unknown totally quite yet. Let's get you here, pick up what we I can. can see them. Well, there's the guy with the shield we heard. What do you know? He's a close-up guy, though. He's a total close-up guy. So the question becomes, do I have a shot at this range? And which weapon is going to do... Well, we'll find out which weapon can do the most damage. Oh, we, we It says we got stuff in the way still so let's move up here I'll be right there we got a heavy leg potential shot that would really slow him down if we could take it out does this give better aim at all not really so we'll go with the virus weapon just uh, for the whole ammo situation and I'm still gonna take a chance on that leg hopefully we can slow him down doesn't look like it's quite slowed down so I think what we'll do just to hopefully be safe is retreat I have will so I could obviously retreat even farther if I felt it necessary his movement right now is 14 yeah why don't we play it safe with you Nikolai Pushing on. Out of sight, out of mind. Uh, what we will do is get the vehicle turned around. And I think at this range is probably not a worthwhile shot. Yeah, I don't call that worthwhile for the ammo we would spend. So we're going to hang out right here. Let's see what happens. So he did not go for Nikolai. And he did not quite reach our over... Oh, Lord, we got lucky. Sniper coming in off the edge. Still had enough movement to take a shot. That was a tough... Oh, well, that wasn't tough. That was lucky is what it is. Um, 
what we're gonna do is unload I want to get uh, well once we do unload I want to get you lightened up first of all no we don't want to exit we want to unload over here Uh, now we'll get you to back out. You won't be able to jump this turn. And you don't have any weapons to properly use, so we'll just get you over closer to where you need to be. And we're going to count on him being us being able to take him out. I think I got enough snipers nearby. Not quite in vision, though. So let's bring you over here, Will Smith. Got this. Uh, we're gonna go for the sensor head since it's a pretty dang good shot. Yeah. And that's what we hit. We're then gonna bring someone else up here, and you do have quick aim, Alan Rickman. Thank goodness. Let's go. We just need this shot to hit, so we no longer have a threat. Kind of freeze you up, Nikolai. I'd like to have you freed to be able to just go Jump. forward. Now let's see what your shot looks like Acquiring here. Target. Is that that shield makes it awkward? So maybe what we do is we see if we can move forward and get a really tough shot over here to remove a shield, maybe, so that we can snipe him out of here. Doesn't exactly get rid of the shield now, does it? We're gonna keep the pincer in the loop and uh, we might be able to get lucky that way too. Uh, we have the will. The question becomes, uh, actually let's use the more accurate weapon. Just see what the shot looks like. Yeah, and I'm kind of feeling uh, with this better weapon, we might be able to do two hits on the carapace, which could be enough. Or actually one hit on the shield and then another, sh another shot on him. That might be the safer chance to hit. So we're going to spend our will. And get rid of the shield. We are going to spend our will... not get rid of the Arthron. We're going to spend our will to hopefully get rid of that pincer. And I don't think this guy had a spitterhead, so he's going to be another one hobbling off the map. Yep. How's it feel to be neutered, boy? <laughs> Let's get over here. We can pick up our last item in here not that it's important but then in next turn it gets us in range of this puppy double time and there's a little cover here i'm going and uh, i think we'll shadow with the vehicle in this direction Hope we're going to be okay, I guess. Oof. Another big burly guy. And he's running off. At least that's one less turn that he's going to get re uh, a full health reinforcement. Let's pick this up. Moving to quarters. These guys are full. There's our tech that I was hoping for. Um, Phoenix, Phoenix, let's go with the Sinedrian sniper rifle. You know, I'm jumping up and down with joy. And I think we get more use out of the med kits. They're fairly expensive. That's what we're going to grab first. 
and we're gonna get you moving in this direction some decent cover here so we can offload it next turn um, I don't think we have anything nearby that I can get the vehicle over to help us out with so let's kind of get the vehicle positioned to maybe help us out we easily offload it next time that's a short little run you should be able to make um, I don't think can this guy be bashed in one turn? 110 hit points, 122. It says we should be able to bash him. That is probably the best thing we could do. And I hate wasting a jump to do it. But then we can use our legs and run over to here to pick up that crate. Uh, so let's jump over and bash. mind fragger is gone now we have to worry about this guy this guy has a weapon this guy has return fire this guy can hurt us fortunately we both have some kind of cover against him so maybe at this distance his shots should he try won't be the best maybe oh, what boy. we can do let's go see if anybody I has a, a great shot shot no that's not a great shot on knocking out the weapon uh, let's see if you have a better angle at taking out that weapon you do but it's still not any kind of a guarantee well, we can take out the shield in one shot we're gonna risk return fire but after that we're gonna have a great chance and you do have enough you don't have enough will for two of those shots so what it's gonna mean <sighs> hmm we're just gonna not use will on this one we're gonna risk the return fire and then what I'm gonna do or what else with the shield gone uh, I'm gonna move Bless you over behind the do. cover here and because right now this pole this pole's in the way will moving over help me with that pole in our line of sight oh most definitely would give me a better shot especially with the shield gone uh, so just so he doesn't accidentally hit two of us with the return fire we're gonna slide on over here and try this we can always move over a little further for quick aim if, it, if it's not what I want now let's take out that shield And what happened? We disabled his arm at the same time? Or are we out of uh, return fire range? That's what it is. We are snipers. We can shoot farther than he can. <laughs> That's what it is. Uh, let's see what your shot does here. Sure. Is it deadly enough? Not necessarily. But if I shoot at the head and it doesn't quite hit, it may hit the arm or whatnot in the background. So let's focus on the head. And we didn't take the head out. He's bleeding. He's going to have a shot. So what we got to do is overwatch. So if he moves forward to get a better shot on us. Yeah, well, it's kind of kind of long for some of these pistol shots, but uh, he may only take a step before he tries anything. I'll keep my eyes open. I prefer my pistol overwatch to be shorter than that. We're going to end your turn here, Armadillo. And uh, guess what? We have Tony Shalhoub, so we may not have needed that overwatch because there's nobody else he needs to take out. He's retreating. Let's uh, bring another shot over here. Uh, and, and we're going to just take that shot with the Sinedrian weapon, I think, maybe Ooh, good enough. Shot. Not having to use quick aim, which you only have one of anyway. That may do it. That does it. Another guy with a weapon entering the picture. 
Uh, let's get unloaded. That's our first order of business here. You've got plenty of will. We're going to dash just so we can get Gotta more done going. with you this turn. you have enough movement to get out of the vehicle so you're stuck your turn is done the armadillo we got to figure out where we want to take the armadillo right now and I guess what we're gonna continue with you guys is uh, continue picking things up I don't remember I don't think anything critical is over here so what I'm gonna do first is keep the armadillo moving off in this direction uh, and that's a pretty big distance. The only other thing is come over here and uh, do a world of hurt on this guy. But then we couldn't shoot from there anyway. So let's... This is a scavenging mission. I have a habit of forgetting these things. I'm getting sidetracked. You know, oh look, a squirrel. And we're set to have you dropped off next time, Nikolai, to get that crate now. Now we are over on this side. Eventually we're going to have to move to the other side of the map to get out of here. Uh, first of all, Kairos or Rabbi Zasso, sorry for the name flub. Uh, let's get you over here. More materials. This kind of stuff we can produce, so we're going to we're going to go for the stuff we can't produce because um, we aren't friends with these guys yet. And then the more expensive as opposed to the pistol. So that may be all we need. To, we, we may just leave the last couple items that are over here. Yeah, you can argue I should pick it all up because we can scrap it and get something for it. But at the same time, we want to get out of here in one piece too. So let's uh, work towards an exit. And now we've got some snipers uh, that don't quite have shots on the target over here unless they move and don't quite have shots no matter how they move on this target this beam is protecting this guy big time so I guess uh, what we're gonna do this turn is retreat with our guys set up a, a, a smattering of overwatch against the advance of the Arthron we know about And the Arthron we know about, really, we don't know exactly which way he's going to come at us. Uh, so we'll have to cover a lot of different angles here. I'm going to bring you back this way, Will Smith. And we're going to cover this way also. Or unless he goes all the way to the side, maybe I better come out this way. Get a little bit of both worlds. I'm on Overwatch. Armadillo's done, and so are we. Let's see what happens. No. Okay, he overwatches. He stays hidden. And that guy is left, so it means we're gonna get another reinforcement somewhere, somehow. Uh, Nikolai, can you get out of here now? And even with dash, we're not so we're we're not going to spend the will. We're going to run you over here. And he's overwatching mostly in that direction, but he's behind a big, big, big ass wall here. That's why we aren't going to be able to see him at all. I think we're going to have to just lay some Overwatch. Well, some more of us uh, get out here. Now, I can get out here and then do some jet jumping to get this stuff picked up. I don't want to jet jump into the mist. That's for dang sure. Wow, I can get over here. That'll draw the guy out coming towards me. I'm a heavy. Um, let's jump over here for cover. 
See if we can lure him out. How's this for a plan? And, and nail him with Overwatch as we lure him out. Let's see if that'll work. I'm going to have more of us focus this way because hopefully the heavy will draw him forward. I'm on I'll have one of us overwatch the back door just in case he's a perceptive son of a gun and uh, decides to go the other way and trick us. And there we go. Armadillo, stay put. We got another shield that went down. And he apparently may have stayed put because he didn't move in any way, shape, or form anywhere. He could have hurt us. So we may have to do a moving retreat with our snipers as we move to the other side of the map. Let's go see what we got to pick up here, Nikolai. All right, and that's no kidding. These, these crates are loaded to bear. I don't think I'm going to come back for a grenade, a single grenade. I'm going to keep this thing moving. Advancing. Uh, but I am going to move... You, Robbie Zasso, you still have plenty of will. Yeah, we're, we're gonna move you over here. Aha! We see a guy. Doesn't have speedy legs, movement was only 14, doesn't have a lot of armor, has to get up close, I'm not worried. So Robbie will keep you there. Uh, actually, the vehicle is gonna have to move for you to board. Why don't we keep you here? I don't think he can reach at that distance and we might be able to use uh, your weapon to shoot at him next turn we'll debate loading shooting whatever we're gonna do the overwatch game one more time before we start playing the retreat game but I'm thinking he obviously didn't move out of that position for the most part he may not know where we are and that's why he didn't move uh, Robbie Zasso didn't make enough noise jumping over there to attract his attention, so he may just kind of be hunkering down, not knowing where we are, which in his case is probably the smart thing to do. I'm on over. But we'll find out here in a moment. We got another guy in the mist. No damage, just an armor hit. At least I don't think... I think uh, we're going to be okay. We can get you on board, and that's just what we're going to do to offload. Uh, you should be able to, because you got free exchange perk, I think, so we can get rid of this stuff. And then next turn, we'll offload you uh, next to another crate. In the meantime, now this guy had a weapon, so maybe I'm here. I move you over here, except all your weapons are three actions. Will this give me enough close-up targeting to shoot something sticking out from behind the shield, or should I go here? Not that much sticking out on this side, is there? There's more sticking out on this side, I think. So I know you may think I'm putting you in harm's way, Robbie, um, but hang in there. Bear with me. Identifying target. <sighs> Not the kind of guarantee one would hope for, right? Uh, and that, not even a guarantee that all the bullets would hit uh, to potentially kill him. But I think there's more chance for more bullets to hit on this shot. Now, kind of commits me to having to shoot right here now. 
with both my shots or one shot let's let's see what one shot does let's aim at the carapace right there Tell you what, because we're going to be taking a shot from this guy. Let's come out of here. You can't move. I don't have anybody else that'll be able to get over there. Uh, so maybe what I got to do is move the armadillo as a blocker and hope that this guy swats the armadillo. And this guy shoots the armadillo because we can take it more, a lot better than Robbie Zasso. Let's hope that's what happens. And now I think uh, it is time to move our snipers and get ourselves going uh, via cover. Moving fast. Because we need our shots over on this side of the map all of a sudden. Channel open. Hmm. Unfortunately, we can't get the cover from this guy for sure. Hmm. He's going to be pretty dang far back, so like we're going to take the chance uh, that we'll be okay, even if he senses us and sees us and wants to shoot Spins at us. Uh, because what we can do in the meantime, uh, at least with two Ready. of us, is overwatch a tad if he moves forward. What's our move? I'll keep my eyes open. Just try to disrupt him that way. The armadillo is done. We're all done. Let's go see what happens. Yeah, I'd rather have to get a little armadillo repair than what the alternative was. <laughs> it's hard to resurrect a Robbie. <laughs> He's doing the overwatch, and I think um, more than likely we're going to be okay out of range of this overwatch as we move forward uh, to make some things happen. Uh, we have one option, and that is to get extremely close to this guy in the mist. And he's one of the squishy kind. So let's just take the shot with the armadillo. Well... Nikolai, I don't know, uh, you're going to have, can you squeeze, I don't know if you're going to be able to squeeze by there. Maybe we go one space forward if we can. Now we see if uh, you can get out of here, Nikolai, and still be able to take a shot. Not at all. So uh, we're going to get you behind cover. Get the goods. There's some more tech. Ooh, this one has a lot of expensive things that we can hold on to. And we are going to take the shot on the guy in the mist with this thing. Goodbye. And Robbie, I do believe you have what it takes uh, to take him out now. And if we come on this side of the shield, you should be hunky dory. Taking aim. Also, this may be the last shot of your weapon. I don't know. We're getting low. Splash one. And uh, we're gonna try. It looks like we'll take this cover.
Okay, no overwatch for you. We'll take this cover. Okay, we are. Uh, we, we we would appear to be out of Overwatch range. Receiving loud and, and Tony, you'll take this Repositioning, cover. Prioritizing speed. So we'll just end our turns. I'm not even going to do the pistol Overwatch, and let's see where they come from now. <laughs> Is that a siren? Roar? No, but that was a shotgun. If I ever saw a shotgun. Let's get you unloaded. We still have one more crate hiding off in the corner. The only thing we're, re we're really leaving behind so far is junk. I'm not worth going back for. So we're going to continue moving forward. We're going to unload our stuff in here. We're going to get it unloaded. I was born ready. funny i know it just goes to the next row i, th I just like seeing it get there <laughs> that's the old school part of me uh we're gonna come up here now for a nice close range shot as we move towards or make progress towards the next tar what the heck how can we not see this guy well there's the siren how can we not see the shotgun I guess we're too close. We can't shoot at that angle. Uh, let's back up a tiny bit. Or let's just go past. And then decide do we want the siren or the guy we can't see. Well, we can't shoot. We're, 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 we're shooting at the siren. Let's just see what kind of siren this is. Is it, is it mind control or just it's just? psychic scream so as long as we're inside the armadillo we're okay there for the moment for the time being and we can work on some others getting out here for some shots on a siren and that's an angle that may give us a shot we have enough for Let's will go. to give it a shot give it a try give it a look see have to focus Nice hit. Damage. nice hit, Alan Rickman. I'm going to bring you over to this side so you can do a little pistol overwatch on the unknown guy here. Probably going to get another shotgun blast to the rear of the armadillo is what it sounds oh, like. Right. But um, This says I could have a shot against a guy. It's going to be horrible distance. Let's but we'll give it a try. It's not taking any will. Oof. It's a horrible try. Uh, so it looks like we need to position ourselves for this one. Oh, it was a horrible try because I probably had the wrong weapon equipped. So next time, let's make sure we equip the proper weapon. I'm on Overwatch. <laughs> uh, let's go. We got the proper weapon there. Problem is we aren't going to get into a great line of sight anyway, so we're going to bring you here. Haste. Hope we aren't too close for Psychic Scream. Okay, we are overwatching. What have we got left? Yeah, I think we're going to keep you, Nikolai, right inside the thing. So if I bring you out right now to try and gain sight on this guy, we can't see for crap. So uh, let's end your turn. Let's end this turn. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We, we have full movement here. What am I, what am I doing? Let's not end. We have a heavy we can get into the game. And we'll give you cover just in case the shotgun could be an issue. 
I'm going in. So we're out of ammo on that weapon. Uh, we have gotten our money's worth. We've used it all up. This will be your new weapon of choice. hide in the mist so apparently the vehicle getting next to these guys in the mist does not expose them so guess what that means you're going to do Nikolai you're gonna be the exposer for us let's get you out there's the first one let's see what he is thug and yeah we don't want to leave you there with the shotgun not for a second what I am feeling wow what I what would be nice is to get somebody close enough to the siren where in fact we're gonna need somebody close enough to the siren um, we're gonna need somebody who maybe could bash the siren if we got them that close uh, so our snipers can take out the siren. That would appear to be the plan. Uh, so let's jet jump right here. In fact, let's get out of the lines of fire, jet jump you here. And how do we not see the freaking siren? Holy smokes. What the heck is going on here? Uh, you don't have quick aim, Alan Rickman. You do, Tony Shalhoub. With your better perception, can we get you in here to see the siren? Heading out. Why? Is the mist that thick? Uh, I think what we're going to do, switch to this weapon, do the... No... That's not an option either because then I only have the one quick aim. So we might as well use the, the more powerful weapon. We're going to do this as far as hitting the siren and hope it works. And apparently it did not. We are in for a world of hurt all of a sudden. There we go. Man, is your perception that bad as a heavy Robbie Zasso? Wow. Um, what that means is I'm going to bring you into this direction so we don't have to get worried about uh, missed shots. And uh, we'll take a shot with the armadillo. It would have been nice to get two shots. Um, but that's sometimes just the way it works. That threat's gone. The rest of us need to take care of the siren threat. We have a plan. Uh, we have a plan. I don't know if we have enough shots. Uh, we can get rid of the screaming head. We can get rid of the torso and start her bleeding. And the screaming head. We're 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 gonna get the bleeding going. You have will. Let's take a look at this shot and see if you can shoot around our guy. Oh no, it says you can't see him because we're in the way. So once again, that's only one shot we're gonna get. Well, we're gonna take some hurt. Already there. fair amount of damage that way can't take out any other body part so we got to hit into the torso to maximize our damage on target. Oh. 
Ready to engage. This is where the pistol quick aim comes in handy to try and do more damage on the torso that's weakened. I hope. Very good. Guess what? We have quick aim. Um, I'm going to see if you can just bash it out here and finish this thing off. You know, I'm going to use the weapon we don't have ammo for. Because who cares if it gets damaged? <sighs> can you hear that big, I mean big, sigh of relief? I hate all of us standing in the, the fog and the mist. Uh, I am worried now about this guy coming up behind us. You know, that's been trailing us, that never seemed to know where we were. All of a sudden, he's probably going to figure out where we are, and, and he's going to nail us. And Armadilla, move forward. This is our last crate. Now you can see why. Oof. Now you can see why I hate the mist. You realize how difficult it made something that should have been simple to take out. Uh, Nikolai, get motoring, please. Uh, you have will. We're using it every way we can this time. Come over here, pick it up, and then we'll use will to get back on the armadillo if we uh, have it available. Oh, the most empty crate of them all is the last one we get to. But I'm going to take the materials. Oh, the the entrance. That's right. I turned this guy around, so you got to go over here. Let's get you unloaded while we're thinking about it. It should be the last thing down. Wow, look at all that crap we got. Um, I'm happy. Armadilla. You can move forward and still have a shot. a great shot but your shots when they hit hurt more than his I hope yeah apparently we didn't do a lot of damage so we most of our hits hit the shield Oh yeah, it, it's it's down to half strength for the couple bullets that hit it. Um, we are going to. Oh, guess what? This is where we normally would enter the vehicle, but it's in the way of a pole. Uh, so guess what? We're gonna back you out of here. How loaded are you, by the way? You are loaded. Uh, we're gonna get you out of line of sight of that guy. Be able to pop a grenade for us next turn if we need it. Uh, we want to get you out of potential line of fire. Yeah, and standing in the mist does nothing for your will. To speak of the, speak of the mist. This will get you over in uh, a decent direction. Quickly. What's our move? You have a shot for us. Even if we pick up. The little bit that's here. Ready to engage. Well, that's a crap shot, so we will not take it. You're also going to be able to get out of here. So uh, let's just reposition you behind some cover also. says it's cover two, but we're going to, hmm. Oh, 
We don't have any damage on the back of the vehicle now, do we? Thank goodness we had cover. And more cover. It saved us. That's, that very likely could have been a neural pistol. We have some weakened armor. But we also have the ability to get out of here. And I think it's about time we did that. See what our shot looks like over here. He has a pain chameleon torso, so obviously we probably probably won't kill him. And he's gonna disappear. And before I do that, just because I want to see what weapon he has. Neural. Yeah, we, we don't want to play games and have him disappearing and on the loose. Uh, the other thing, though, is uh, a lot of us can get on board and be safe from this guy. I was born ready. Yeah, because nobody really has great shots, so I think we we need to get ourselves safe because we got the loot we need. Ready. Repositioning. Hope this works. Me too. That's four guys in the vehicle. How many does this clown car hold? No more because I can't. There's the clue. It won't let me enter anybody else in here. Uh, so I'm going to do something. Am I going to be able to escape from here with that vehicle in the way? I'm going to do something I normally don't do just because I don't want the neural pistol to... Uh, play games with me otherwise we're gonna get somebody out early and then drive the rest of us out next time yeah, I didn't think the neural pistol would do a whole heck of a lot of damage with our armor I was more worried about him coming up and uh, swiping us with his tentacles. But if they only do neural damage anyway. Now the big question. Can my vehicle fit over here? Is this good enough to be able to exit? I guess we'll find out. Yes. All right. Hasta la vista. So at least now we know on the exit points, you don't have to get the whole vehicle to fit into the exit point. You just have to get part of the vehicle to fit in there. So good experience all around. Those are, those are good numbers for experience, but nobody quite got up to the promotion zone. Not quite. Nikolai, you're looks like you're the closest on this particular team. And you also got the highest level, so pretty cool on this team. So look at that, another 1,000 on uh, resources. That's well, well, well needed, much needed. My Lord, love the haul. All can come in handy, whether it's uh, saving money to, re to build the med kits that we're burning through or what, it's a good haul, good job. Replenish what we can. And uh, this team has done its job. The next thing we have to figure out is where do we want to go from here? Is it in our best interest to uh, get the scarab refixed? I think not. I think uh, we're going to continue with the plan uh, to search on our way north. So uh, we're going to send both the fried chicken and uh, the newly named 
the tag along because it's about all it does uh, head up to the next exploration site and see what we can find go ahead tag along let's get the other one there and we also got the Tiamat over here what do you know so we got two explorations going at once we also have the manticore teams exploring together too and let's see what they found what's ahead is zala holy smokes who makes up words like this come on <laughs> The Skuophylax of Izala has been processing the information recently gathered by the Haven Scouts and offers to share some of it with us in exchange for parts for the hallowed machines she is tasked with maintaining. Well, we just got some tech. Why don't we get the information? For 10 tech? Yeah, sure. So we got three scavenging sites now. That is going to be nice. Uh, let's up. They're going to be uploaded to our system. Let's go see if we can figure out where they are. Uh, so that was a haven, and where are new scavenging sites? Is what we need to find. And they better not be ones we've already done. This is the one she she had to offer us? I need I need scavenging sites. Come on, come on, come on. Where are they? <laughs> Here's one. There's one. So as a matter of fact, uh, maybe what we do with these two guys, because the behemoth is still sleeping. It's still going blub, blub, blub under the water. Uh, we're going to head over to this scavenging site because I want more, more, more. I need more, more, more. Uh, in fact, with what we have right now, I'm going to go to the last base that doesn't have one. Archaeology lab there. Archaeology lab there. We don't have one here. We're going to build our fourth archaeology lab because we can. And that's going to really drastically lower the costs of our probes, uh, activating, um, excavating, you know, all the things that cost as far as um, the ancient stuff is concerned. And while I'm at it, I'm going to spend, spend a little bit more. Um, I do need some more, let's see, assault armor, sniper armor, a jetpack armor, use legs. Uh, we, got, we got all sorts of stuff to potentially build. But uh, what we're going to build, well, you, if we're going to send you over here and that's going to be our next mission, why don't we give you your legs right now? Because you'll be on the team that's going over there. And I think we figured we're going to give you the armadillo legs. We can afford it. Ooh, they're all golden. Those were expensive legs, I'm telling you. <laughs> Only the best for my teams. <laughs> and then I think what we'll go in here, uh, we'll do another round of... Oh, let's get over to armor. We'll do another round of sniper because I need another sniper armor set. How's that leaving us looking? Uh, you know, I, I kind of need... A, we'll just go with the jetpack. Not the assault. The, yeah, we'll go with the jetpack on this one because I want one more who has that independent armor to be able to have a jetpack. So we're going to build that and then call it a day because that's pretty expensive. This will allow us to replenish after any missions. And plus we're going to go for some more in this scavenging mission with this team. Now let me just take a look at the team. The gift and the Overwatch 2. Yeah, we're all in good health. The only thing we don't have is a vehicle to help us carry this stuff. So uh, let's get moving. You know what worries me is I spent that for one scavenging site and I don't see any others. And we may have already done some of the scavenging sites they were going to show us. Isn't that a raw deal? Oh well. Stop, stop your bitching zigzag and let's get over here. Let's get back to the gift.
Okay, we found yet another scavenging site. Could this be by the Helios team or the Bucket team? Let's find out. Oh, and... Too many explorations hitting all at once. Juicy. Our operatives have discovered a former Phoenix Project site and advanced genetics lab intended to replace some of the Phoenix Project's aging research infrastructure. It was shut down in 2019 and sold to a startup that produced 5G compatible automated juice presses. <laughs> Jeez, we're gonna search. Good materials, good. This is a good site. There's nothing left of the Phoenix Project equipment that was sold along with the lab, but the half finished executive relaxation area that was being built in 2030 when the company's stock crashed is easy to dismantle. There are also crates full of unsold juice packets, which oddly enough seem not to have expired. So that was here, that site. Uh, so we're going to keep the bucket moving down to explore here and then we got to get back to where we've been because I think the other scavenging site is right here so do we dare take out the fried chicken and the tagalong no you know I think we will because the tagalong has decent health still uh, I mean uh, this the the armadillo and everybody else is mostly just uh, you know any injuries are very minor we have med kits. We found a hundred med kits. We can equip an extra med kit just to get us to a hundred percent. So yeah, I think uh, we're gonna go ahead and do this one. So there you go. We got our next mission. We, in fact, we got two scavenging missions coming up. So I can build all the crap that I want to build to my heart's content. Um, in fact, we don't want to forget the air game. Not that I want to build aircraft, but there could be some parts I want to build manufacturing wise uh, let's take a look at our vehicles and what could happen do I want one more infrared defensive system so we have variety you know I'm not gonna I'm not gonna build these yet they're they're fairly other than the afterburners they're expensive and the flares are expensive and timely to build Archaeology probe still at 52, but we got a couple more under construction. So, yeah, you know what we can also do is we can get that Odin armor, which is the assault armor, and get that queued up because we can afford that now. And that's all the armor uh, that I think I was uh, wishing for. In a perfect world, I would build another archaeology lab, but I'm also thinking down in South America, I'm going to want to activate another base so we have bases spread spread around the globe to react to where this behemoth appears again and right now i keep checking it's still underwater so anyway i hope you enjoyed today's mission we now know what we're doing next time actually probably the next two missions we know what we're going to be doing we're going to be doing a lot of scavenging uh for supplies that we desperately a little less desperately now, but still desperately need because there's so much we got to build still. So, so much. So uh, give me that thumbs up. Hope you enjoyed the mission. Hope you enjoyed our progress. And I hope to see you next time. This is Zig Zag Zog signing off from somewhere in this world. Thanks so much for watching.